What is sound? Sound is a complex event, a propagating vibration. When a vibrating object moves, it sets the surrounding air particles into vibration. It pushes and compresses the air. This way, it travels from the source and propagates through the medium until it reaches our ear. What we do in synthesis is basically about controlling and manipulating those vibrations. Let's begin with frequencies. Frequency. Frequency refers to the speed of vibration, how frequently the vibration happens in a given period. In one second we use the unit of frequency, which is hertz. That is the number of cycles per second. Frequencies are measured in hertz. One hertz is equal to one cycle per second. So then, a frequency of 10,000 hertz, or 10 kilohertz, means 10,000 cycles per second, and this will produce a higher pitch. Whereas a frequency of, let's say, 600 hertz, it's equal to 600 cycles per second and will produce a lower pitch. So pitch is a consequence of the speed of vibration. The higher the speed of vibration, the higher the pitch. The audible frequency range of the human ear goes from 20 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz, which is the range that we are able to perceive sound. That means we are able to hear from 20 to 20,000 vibrations per second. Nonetheless, this frequency range varies from animal to animal. Dogs can hear up to 45 kilohertz, bats to 120 kilohertz, and dolphins to 150 kilohertz. And frequency is also an important means of communication between animals. For example, mosquitoes. Male mosquitoes have a wind beat frequency of about 600 hertz and female mosquitoes produce a sound of 400 hertz but when they mate, they sing in duet they adjust their flight tones to a common tone, a love tone that means that they change the speed at which they fly to match their mate And now oscillator. To synthesize the pitch of an instrument, we first begin with the oscillator. Oscillators produce an electronic signal which creates a constantly repeating vibration that oscillates. In Ableton Live, this will be produced digitally by the software. The part of the synthesizer that controls frequency. Most sounds are made of many frequencies. For example, a note on the guitar string it has a fundamental tone, a main frequency, which is the loudest and the lowest, and it has complementary harmonics. In this case, I'm playing C. Look at all the harmonic tones produced by C. All complex sounds oscillate in different ways producing these harmonics, but what we identify as the main note it's what's called the fundamental. And this is why a C in the piano is not the same as a C in the guitar. And this relates to the concept of timbre. Also known as the tone color or the tone quality. Timbre refers to the unique quality of a complex sound. And part of this uniqueness lies in the harmonic content. The part of the synthesizer that can control the timbre is the filter. The filter can cut up frequencies, changing the character of the sound. And finally, we shall mention amplitude. When you look at the representation of a waveform, amplitude is the high of the waveform. In audio signal, higher amplitude means louder sounds. Then the shape of amplitude over time is called an amplitude envelope. How fast it reaches its maximum volume, that is the attack. 
The decay is about how much time it takes to drop down to the sustain level. The sustain level is the volume level at which the key of the keyboard is held. And finally, the release refers to how long it takes the sound to fade out after the key is released. It is important to hold to the concepts of pitch, amplitude and timbre when adjusting the parameters of any device. So now we are going to learn the basic waveform shapes produced by an oscillator. First we have the square waveform. The name of this waveform describes the shape of a single cycle of the waveform. This waveform goes on and off pretty roughly. But if we think of a waveform that goes increasingly on and decreasingly off, you will be describing a triangle wave. A sawtooth wave, on the other hand, goes instantly on and decreasingly off. While these waveforms sound different, they have unique timbres because they have different harmonic content. A sine wave is the most simple fundamental audio building block. An ideal sine wave has a single frequency in its spectrum. That means it has no overtones. A sine wave has no harmonic, while a sawtooth sound has many overtones. These waveforms can be used as oscillators to produce sound or as modulators to control those sounds. In what comes next, I will be explaining the four most common synthesis methods. Additive synthesis, subtractive synthesis, frequency modulation and wavetable synthesis.